I want to to make a make a totally new movie, to enjoy the new process and uh, to go back to the very beginning and that uh, and I mean, just like uh, students in the film school, you know, mm -hmm. has no money but you want need to make your homework, just enjoying the whole process of every moment of the of the Did movie you? making. Did you? Did you enjoy it? Yes, I. A hundred percent. Ten thousand percent. Okay. Well, you played with characters. I mean, in the movie, there is no human being. Yes. All animals. Was it fun to work with animals? To be honest with you, I think animal is easier to deal with <laughs> than really? than human being. Yes. Why is that? They only need food. <laughs> But I think human being need more. You've got a lot of. Hours of raw materials, 500 hours. I heard. The truth is, you know, we spend whole year to do the post production, to do the editing, actually, mm -hmm. to find the true story. You know, we got uh, 500 hours materials, and we need to find a, a movie through the materials. I'm only doing TV, and our footage is maybe 12 hours. That is already the maximum. The more you look. The more stories come to your mind, and then you push them away. There's a new story, but then it doesn't work. So for you, I would assume 500 hours. Yeah. Eventually, where is the story? There's always uh, uh, a kind of uh, message in my heart I want to deliver through this movie. What our, is it? The life philosophy of our Chinese people, you know, because we believe the. The death is not the end of life. The death is another kind of a beginning, you know, of the life. Reincarnation. Something, reincarnation, yeah, something like that. I think we we should go back to to understand the the true beauty of the nature, the true beauty of the life. So that's the the central, the hot core of this movie. So what I need to do is find the right per characters, find the right storyline. Find that's right. So when. Did that eureka moment happen? <laughs> um, you know, it's a, it's a long process. I should say. I spent almost one year in in, in Burbank and uh, Bristol.、Mm -hmm. I I felt so desperate for so many times. And、uh, one day, I'm looking at the、uh, the materials, at the abandoned materials in the, in the, in the hard drive. It's a it's a kind of secret hard drive. I never see this hard drive before, you know. So in the in the editing room, I I I, I discover that that hard drive. So I just I start to look at the the, the 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 hard drive, but all of a sudden I I saw a shot. What is that? That shot just shocked me immediately. I see a, I saw a picture, you know. In this picture, a snow leopard died in the in the in the heavy snow. She looks so desperate and so sad. That moment touched me, and、uh, all of a sudden, I realize what kind of thing I really need. So I, I, I call my producer. I, I, <laughs> would you please allow me to go back to China? Why? You know, I know they they want to make beautiful movie. They want to make a happy ending. You know, but for me, I don't want make you know. Heavy sugar-coated movie, you know. I want make. I want this movie to tell at least part of the truth of China. You know. Did they say yes? Yes, Roy said yes. <laughs> go back to, to go back、yes. to 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 your family. <laughs> <laughs> And、uh, he's. He, I, I guess he thought I'm a, I'm a, you know I, I I'm a missing my my baby and my wife and my family and、uh, I want to go back but but the truth is I want to go back to China to go back to Beijing to to edit this this movie in my editing room.、Mm. Why is it important in your editing room? It's a totally different way to make a movie. You know? Explain. <laughs> What is it? <laughs> What is it? You know, you, to make a Disney movie, you should you should respect all the、uh, you know talents. And I should say, in the, in the international co-production movie, every talent like the DP, the editor, the the, the mixer, the everything, everybody, they are super good. They are professional. So it's totally different from China. In in China, if when you when the director editing a, a movie, we I mean me, I mean I usually sitting you know just behind the editor. 
you know, like a backseat driver. <laughs> yeah, 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 backseat driver. <laughs> <this> I control. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a dictator. You know? I control everything. <laughs> but in, in, in Bristol, you, you can, you, you can. cannot, never do that. You know, in the very first day, when I stepped into the uh, editing room, I, I did it in, the, in Chinese way. So the, the editor is, you know, feels like, you know, it's very. Very uh, upset. Uh, very upset, very, very, you know, I mean, it's uh, miserable. All of a you sudden, tell, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you, embarrassed, you know, frustrated. I should say. So all of a sudden, I realize I'm I'm not supplied. I'm implied, you know. So I, I need to just issue the order and uh, get let out. Let them do the job. <laughs> yeah, to let them do the job. Yeah. So it's totally different. On the other hand, you know, they have uh, so many you know, secret hard drive. <laughs> so I don't know. What, what I don't know. You know what? I, what else is being missing? Yeah, 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 yeah. So I, I need to, I need to, totally understand the situation. So I bring all the material back to China, and uh, you know, I did my homework in in, in China. I spent one month, and uh, I have my director's card. Yes. And uh, this card. And your Chinese editor is perfectly okay with you doing the backseat driving. I, the truth is, I, I, I use my assistant. He just like my muscle, and I play the, the role of brain. The know. brain, that's right. <laughs> what about in the future? Are you go still going to be quote unquote a dictator? <laughs> it depends. It <laughs> depends. <laughs> it depends. If you know everything goes smooth, yeah. smoothly, and follow my will, <laughs> okay, I can no be. No secretive file. <laughs> I can. I can. You know, sitting behind a curtain. <laughs> yeah. If you no, know, it's not so smooth. But I, I want to be the. I want to do this again. That's exactly what I want to ask you, Chuan, because there is a huge difference of making a movie with Hollywood and here in China. Yeah. But the thing is, should we move toward their way or we can still be where we are and do better? What do you think? Because you play both ways. The truth is, uh, obviously, we need to you know, do in another way. You know? I, I spent three years in in, in Hollywood team and. Uh, so you don't want to be a dictator. Anymore, no. And not anymore. Not anymore. You know, I I I think that their their experience and their uh, skill to making a movie, I think it's it's kind of a guarantee for the quality of this movie. Mm. You have to plan everything. You have to make sure everybody implement your will and your thoughts. That is the Chinese but way, at wrong. least for now. It's totally wrong. You know, you have only one brain, but. You need to work with other super smart brains. But so when you don't have that many talents, what can you do? Now, now to today is uh, China is so rich. You know, we our industry is quite rich. We can we can we talk, we, we definitely can can invite such this kind of a people to China to make our own movie. That means, Chinese mm. Chinese movie made it, made by international team. You know, I, I think. If, that's kind of a new way to make a chi uh, Chinese story. Out. I see the light in your eyes when you're talking about that. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, I remember doing a little bit of research about you before you were coming over here today. That is, um, you were saying two years ago, this is the best time and the worst time for Chinese movie industry. Exactly what you meant. Did I say that? <laughs> <laughs> yes, you did. Obviously, it's the best time for Chinese movie, you know, Chinese film industry, because we have so many, many money. You know, from the finance side, I think it's uh, it's the best part, best moment. But money is not the, the strength. Money is never the strength to make make filmmaker to create good movie. I should say to create reasonable, smart, serious movie. Money is never the strength or motivation. That's the question, you know, what kind of movie we need to make for, for the younger generation. What do you think? I don't know. I, I only know what, what kind of movie I want to make. What kind of movie you want to make? I want to make different movies. I want, I want I take movie making as a journey, you know. So I want to, I really want to go to different places to, to explore different, different humanities, you know, to, to, to enjoy the, the, the journey. But only in movie making, you know, I, I, I want to be, uh, I want to be a, 
very, very aggressive. I want to be ambitious. I want to be an animal without, you know, burden, you know, without, I want to break the jail. No you know. boundary. No boundary, yes, totally. Director Lu Chuan talking about his new movie, Born in China, to be premiered in the U.S. theater in April. We cherish the link between humans and nature, but what we deal with more often is the link between people and people and between people and cultures. Lu said he is more now interested in the latter. That is why he chose to tell the story of a young American living in China in his next movie as he sees purity, courage, and power in it, in the youth. And now you are moving on to something nobody has ever done before. You're trying to make a movie out of the very well-known book called The River Town by Peter Hessler. It's almost like a saga story Peter Hessler wrote about 1990s China. Small town, ordinary people, why do you want to make this movie? The River Town just reminds me, you know, my st student's life. I was majoring in British literature, but, you know, I, I was the worst student. <laughs> <laughs> um, I should say, my, my English teacher, he opened the window to me, you know, at the time. He, he gave me a lot of books, English books, and uh, he showed me the, the English newspapers and uh, he played the, the English movie to us. The, the movies like uh, One Flew Over the Cuckoo Nest and uh, A Couple Is Now and uh, Dr. Chivago. Wow. A lot of good movies, you know. Great movies. Yeah. And I should say he, he, he really opened a window to us, to me especially. So when I read uh, River Town, I totally understand the, what kind of impact, you know, the Peter Hustle brought to the, to the students, you know. He was a Peace Corps volunteer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he teach the students teach in a Sichuan student. small town. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think, I do believe that our students will give the, the, the Peter Hustle a lot of, uh, you know, uh, experience on how to survive and uh, thrive in China, you know. It's a kind of a communication between two cultures, you know. And I connection. Yeah, yeah, connection. And uh, I think it, it's kind of a magic moment. And there's some moments in, in River Town also reminds me my memory, my good memory, you know, what, you know like uh, Peter Hustler, you know, coached the, the students to do the rehearsal about Shakespeare play, drama, <laughs> and blah, blah. <laughs> You know, we did similar things, you know. Oh, you did? Yeah, yeah, we which, did similar things. Which part you play? Or you were the director? I'm the director. I was oh, the director. you are and always I was the director. Dir yeah, I was the director and the writer and uh, the leading actor. <laughs> <laughs> Can you believe that? Well, <laughs> I'm the leading actor. You know? All dropped into one, huh? <laughs> it's a good memory. It's a s memory so sweet. Why were those days so important for you? Uh, it's pure and uh, it's naive and, and the brave. And uh, just like, uh, it's kind of like a, a golden dream, you know, always in, hung in my memory. Yeah. So I, you know, I made several movies, but I never touched this, this part, you know. So I want to make a movie to, to salute my own memory of my youth. Yeah, it's a long story. I, yeah, you're writing a script. And uh, we we are working with the American writer together. We are writing the script together, and uh, I hope I can put more fresh materials in that in that in that script. Right before that happened, you're on your way right now to the United States yes. to promote this wonderful animal movie called *The Born in China*. What do you want your audience in the U.S. to know? Before we we finish the the, the, the whole production. Post production, Disney made a Disney made a audience screening, mm -hmm. yeah, to to see the result, to see the effect of the whole movie. You know, I'm nervous because I'm sitting in the in the, in the theater and the, with the audience, and uh, I just you know I watching their, their <laughs> You were the only one not watching the movie. <laughs> yeah, and uh, to my surprise, good surprise, they 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 laugh and they 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 crying, they they.
I think they enjoyed the whole movie. And uh, when the whole movie finished, they said they never imagined China is so beautiful. That I think that's the that's the main purpose. Of, you know, we we spent three years to make this movie. You know, I think it's good. China is so beautiful. Yeah, Chinese animal is so beautiful. And uh, one people, one audience said, he he cannot believe China still have so many good, beautiful animals. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's good to know we still have. Yeah, some yeah, left. still have. Yeah. We still have. But 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 we shoot this movie in China. That's true, you know. So I think I'm proud of this movie.